It's the history of Charlton Athletic. A valley of tears to a valley of joy. And the author is Richard Redden. I've said his name right. A lovely picture there in black and white of the old ground with the famous East Stand. We go straight to the book. This is how the club were formed. Arsenal moving further north and Charlton were formed as a Sunday league team and very slowly rised up the ranks before becoming a, a league team in 1921 and it was a very quick rise of course when you knew it Charlton were second in the football league famous manager Jimmy C and it looked like basically explains that Charlton could have been a massive club for some reason their ground wasn't redeveloped properly and actually soaked the seeds for a bit of their decline but during this period they were the second best team in England behind Arsenal then there's a bit on the war and all that in wartime and in peacetime. Of course, their first ever FA Cup final, which they lost to Derby County. But straight away, they got to the next FA Cup final the following year, beating Burnley, winning their only major trophy to date. There they are collecting the FA Cup. Then as they hit the 50s, Sadly, Charlton hit a bit of a decline. Charlton, of course, now relegated with a near return. But it wouldn't be till, of course, 1986 they would return to the first division. During the 60s, things not getting exactly any better for um, Charlton Athletic. Of course, after that with quick return to the first division and relegation, they look like they're going to spend forever in the second division. Of course, Keith Peacock was the first ever player to be to come on as a substitute. Of course, back to the third division. Another famous player, Mike Flanagan. And then comes the worst moment in Charlton's history, of course, promotion back to the second division. Then they hit the crisis years. This man here, Mark Hewer, we'll call him, takes control of the club. I mean, the club are in absolute disarray. Virtually going to be wound up in total debt at this time. But luckily, at the final hour, they were saved. And they give you all the information where the club had gone wrong, all the bank statements and all the debt they were in, how they were saved. Unbelievable read. And when they sort that out, of course, Charlton Athletic have to leave the valley and move to their near neighbour Sellers Park, Crystal Palace, which I'm sure they wasn't happy with. There's the ground in decline, weeds everywhere. But they did return back to the first division for four years. Of course, taking part in the first ever playoff final kind of thing. It was first division versus second division, Leeds United, and they won that staying in the first division. And then, of course, they also formed their own political party to get themselves back to their spiritual home. That's what the new ground was going to look like. At the, I would say the ground doesn't look far off that, does it? It looks a bit different. Of course, as I said, Charlton were relegated back to the second division. One more heartbreak. 
There's more protests on getting Charlton back to their spiritual home. Then they would leave Sellers Park and move to Upton Park. There's a bit of the redevelopment. And here is the homecoming, the end of the book. Pictures of two of the new stand. That's the Jimmy Seed stand for the away supporters. Of course, that's been redeveloped to a two tier stand. It was very basic facilities at the start for Charlton. I mean, the East Stand was officially opened in April the 10th, 94, for a home game which they lost to Nottingham Forest. There's a picture of how the ground looked in 93. And that's the end of the book. A bit about Cholton abroad. All the league tables from when they joined the Football League in 1921. I've got to say, this is an absolute must own for any football supporter. Not just, not just avid Cholton Athletic supporters. Fantastic book. I do recommend it. Pick it up. It's a fantastic read. I'm, I know the value of this book goes between... 30 and 20. Hey, I picked this up with the um, first version from 1990 all together for 20 quid. Good book. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I'll say goodbye and I hope you enjoyed the review.